So are you ready? It's a long trek. If you have any business you need to wrap up here, you'd better do it now. I'm ready. Let's get started. Then let's not waste any more time. We've chosen one of the hidden entrances. The deep roads there will be nice and virginal, ready for a good deflowering. Ha! <laughs> now there's an interesting image. It'll take a week for us to get to the depth we need. There are bound to be leftover darkspawn from the Blight. Big risks, big rewards. We shouldn't be taking any needless risks. This isn't a foolish endeavor. This will work. Now, before... Wait. Who invited the old woman? I'm sorry to interrupt, Sir Dwarf. But I need to speak with my children. Mother! I told you not to get involved with this. I just want to know one thing. Are you planning on taking Bethany with you? I hadn't decided yet. Mother, I'll be fine. I want to go. It's not fine. You can't both go. What if something will happen to you? You, I understand wanting to do this. But leave your sister here, I beg you. It's the Templars or the Darkspawn, Mother. At least I'm allowed to fight Darkspawn. Well, you're not gonna be able to take everyone anyhow. You'll need to decide. Are you sure about this, sis? I hope you're not just trying to protect me. We can't both go into the deep roads. It's too dangerous. Fair enough. I hope you're right. Personal drama over with? Now let's get underway. Been a long time coming, eh, brother? That it has. The deep roads await! No, this can't be right. The Champion and her apostate sister came to Kirkwall to spread subversion against the Chantry. But you claim this wasn't the case. The Champion just happened to have dealings with the Canari, joined forces with a known raider, a blood mage, a rebel warden, and for what? Coin? Maybe it's not as simple as you imagine, Seeker. Simple? Do I need to remind you what your friend did? Do I need to tell you how many lives have been lost? How many more will be lost? You cannot sit there and tell me she is innocent. I don't know if innocent is the right word exactly. She must have known. Somehow the champion knew what was down there. That's why she wanted to join your expedition. No. None of us knew. If we had, this would have all turned out very differently. Is that so? Then tell me your version of what happened on this expedition. Well... We entered the deep roads as planned, but we didn't get very far. There's been a collapse. The way forward is blocked. What? Is there some way around? Not that I've been able to find. The side passages are too dangerous. You 
useless. What am I paying you blighters for? Set camp! <laughs> Problems, brother? Starting deep roads? Who knows how long it'll take to clear the path? Shall we not try to find a way around instead? Seems like the logical choice. You think I'm an idiot, Varric? The scouts say the side passages are too dangerous. We need to do something. Sitting out here in the open is just as dangerous. We'll take a look. If we come running back, screaming, you'll know staying put was the right decision. Fine, fine! Find a way around. Just do it quickly. I hate to add to your burdens, my friends, but I fear I must. I fear my boy Sandal wandered off. He's somewhere in those passages right now. I beg you, keep an eye out for him. He just doesn't understand danger like he should. One man out there alone. What are his chances? My boy is sturdier than you think. If he has one of his enchantments with him, he'll survive. He's burned down a house twice by accident. I'm more worried about him getting lost. Oh, my poor boy. When did you last see him? Not a half hour ago, I turned my back to hand out rations and he was gone. He gets so easily distracted. Oh, I should have been harsher with my warnings. We need to search the side passages. We'll bring him back if we can. Poor Sandal. I can't believe he's done this. Let's move quickly then. Let's make this quick!
Well, I'll be a Nug's uncle. Isn't that Bo Dan's boy? Hello? I don't see a weapon. <laughs> Did he stun them with his wit? Are you injured? How did you do this? Boom! And how did you do that? Not enchantment! Smart boy. Come on. We still need to find a way past that collapse.
Here we go! I don't think I can do that. That's not really my thing. right where we want it to. Let's go back and tell Bartrand. He'll be so pleased. Bartrand! We found a way around your damned cave-in. It's about time. Let's move out! Is this what you were expecting? I thought. 
An abandoned dive, something old, but... What is this? How did you even know it was here? Old scavenger tales. After the third blight. A week below the surface, they said. But nobody believed them. Looks like they were right. Make camp here! We need to look around. I don't get it. Nothing in this tide makes sense. Why is that? We're well below the deep roads. Whatever dwarves lived here, they came long before the first blight. But where are the statues of Paragons? I don't recognize these markings on the wall, or anything in the rubble. Who knows how old these ruins are? Maybe your people were different back then. I know enough about our history to know we haven't changed much. Dwarves have been mired in tradition for many ages. These dwarves might have been unique. If so, I hope they kept their valuables close at hand. This place better be worth it. You found him! I can't believe it! You found him! Hello? I owe you a great debt. I will repay it somehow. I swear my life on it. No need. I'm glad Sandal was all right. Because of you, you will not regret this. I will not forget what I... Say thank you to the nice lady for saving your life, Sandal. Thank you. Hmm. Whatever's through there, it seems still intact. Think we'll find anything? Bartrand is far more enthralled with this place than you are. Unlike him, I wasn't born in Orzammar. I wouldn't even be down here if there wasn't profit in it. This entire place gives me the chills. Let's hope it's worth it. Whatever we find, it might not be very pleasant. Hmm. I suppose we'll need to go down there to find out. Now we fight! See what I'm seeing? Is that... Lyrium? Who cares? It's shiny. Doesn't look like any kind of Lyrium I've ever seen. Look at this, Bartrand. 
An idol made out of pure lyrium, I think. Could be worth a fortune. You could be right. Excellent find. Not bad. We'll take a look around, see if there's anything further in. You do that. The door! Bartrand! It's shut behind you! <laughs> you always did notice everything, Varric. Are you joking? You're going to screw over your own brother for a lousy idol? It's not just the idol. The location of this tig alone is worth a fortune. And I'm not splitting that three ways. Sorry, brother. Bartrand! Bartrand! Oh, I swear I will find that son of a bitch. And I will kill him. Oh, let's hope there's a way out of here. Be careful! Not going to happen.
Here we go! Let's make this quick! harmed without need. You're the first one here that hasn't simply attacked us. They will not assault you further, not without my permission. What are these things? They seem like rock wraiths, but... They hunger. The profane have lingered in this place for ages, beyond memory, feeding on the magic stones until the need is all they know. Delirium? That's what sustains them. I am not as they are. I am... a visitor. It is a hunger demon, drawn here by their need. I would not see my feast end. I sense your desire. You seek to leave this place, but you will need my aid to do so. There's nothing to be afraid of. You can use it if you're careful. What are our options? Why do we need your aid to leave? There is another door that leads into the paths far above us. That is what you seek. It has been sealed, however, and cannot be opened without a key. I know where the key is, do as I ask, and I shall tell you. Aha! You see? I knew there'd be a catch. Hmm. So what do you think? We don't have much choice. Very wise. There is a crypt, not far from here, guarded by a creature that has confounded me for too long. Slay it, and freedom is yours. What is this place? This is the vault. The dwarves would have brought there.
you fall. That's enough. Get back.
What is this place? This is the vault. No! are supposed to be dwarven legends. They're not even supposed to be real. Looked pretty real to me. I suppose it doesn't matter. Look at what it was guarding. <whistles> that is not yours. The key you require is in the chest. Leave all else, for it is mine. Psst. Not to uh, point out the obvious, but can you imagine what this stuff would be worth on the surface? You will not. It is mine, all of it. Take only the key, or I shall destroy you. I don't care for your threats. And I no longer care for your presence. This doesn't seem very nice at all, does it? <laughs> Let's collect the best pieces we can carry out of here and then go. Thank you. 
I'd say this is our way back. How long to get back? If we're unlucky, maybe a week. And if we're lucky? We stumble over Bartrand's corpse on the way. <laughs> Home, sweet home. Finally. Oh, I wonder if Bartrand came back to the city. You think I'd be that lucky? I'm just glad we got back in one piece. Thankfully, we didn't come away empty-handed. <laughs> the treasure we found in that crypt far outstrips Bartrand's stupid idol. He'll be green with envy when he finds out. As soon as I get the chance, I'll look up my contacts to make sure we get the best price. I imagine you'll want to head home, tell your family the good news. We're going to be rich. What's going on? Please don't do anything. Mistress Bethany is being taken to the Circle of Magi in the Gallows. The Gallows is horrible. You can't go there. I have to. That's where the apostates go, isn't it? Consider yourselves fortunate. The Viscount has requested we spare your family the punishment for harboring a dangerous mage. Oh, Bethany, what will happen to you? Don't worry, Mother. I'll be fine. Look after her. So the champion's sister was in the circle? Yes, but that's not the connection you're looking for. Isn't it? Driven from their home, a sister taken against her will, and the champion's companions, Meryl, Aveline, Isabella, that warden, Anders. Don't remind me. I introduced them. We thought they all came from Ferelden together, but now it makes sense. Motive and opportunity. It's still not what you think. Then I need to hear more. Unless you've already decided. I can always go if you don't need me anymore. Tell me what came next. The treasure we found in the deep roads made us a fortune. The champion moved up in the world. Literally. Bought a mansion in Hightown. Everyone knew who she was now. Even the Viscount was taking notice. Bethany was in the circle now. There was nothing we could do for her. Poor girl. Three years later, the Kunari still had the left. The Kunari insisted they were waiting for their ship. But some of us... You better. compound was not meant to be permanent. There are concerns the Kunari influence is no longer contained. Was it ever? Kirkwall has tension enough between Templar and Mage. But these Kunari, they sit like gargoyles waiting for Maker knows what and everyone goes mad around them. Nearly four years I've stood between fanatics. And now, this. Don't keep us in suspense. Leave us. 
Meredith at my throat, Orsino at my heels, and a city scared of heretical giants. Balance has held because the Conari ask for nothing. Even the space in Lowtown was a gift to contain them. But now, the Arishok has requested you, by name. What did you do? I got his attention a couple of times. I guess I impressed him, but that was years ago. It makes no sense. And it doesn't matter. I just need them quiet. I remember how you helped my son. It seems you are meant to have influence above your station. Speak to the Arishok. Give him what he needs to keep the peace. Can you do that for Kirkwall, Sarah Hawk? I've seen hate for them, but I haven't heard anything major in years. Zealots are bravest where their lies can't be argued. Behind closed doors. Chantry leaders see Konari beliefs as a challenge, not an attack. But the message gets muddled among casual adherents. I'm certainly not equipped to argue the fine points of faith. Have the years been kind to Seamus? He is his own man. But your actions tempered him somewhat. He's not so angry at the world. I thank you for that. I may not agree with him on many things, but uh, I am proud of what he is becoming. The Canari usually arrive as conquerors. Odd that this has gone on so long. Very, and I have no interest in antagonizing them. That is partially why I suffer being a messenger today. A treaty exists, and it has been honored. Although... Uh, you have doubts? They claim they're waiting for a second ship. But it has been three years. They want something else. Sounds like you'd be better off without this headache. They will not leave, and we don't have the resources to force the issue. At least, not in a way that would leave the city intact. If they had come to conquer, I suspect they would have done so. Any idea what I can expect? None. Honestly, I don't think I've heard two direct words from the Arishok. Other than his rather deliberate phrasing of... Begone. If you think he's asking me to notify you of this is strange... Well, you would be right. I'm always willing to assist. Well, that is an attitude this city has lacked for a long time. Appease the Arishok. Take his demand and let him return to dormancy. As awkward as this has been, it is better than the alternative. Stepping down is looking more and more appealing.